Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. If you are new or returning, I appreciate you being here. And if you haven't hit that red button, please join the channel. We would love to have you over here. And don't forget to turn on your notifications and also like the video because it helps the channel grow. So as you can see, I am outside <laughs> and I'm losing light. So I have to um, be quick about what I'm about to say. I found uh, some open bags at Lowe's and I got them for a dollar each. Um, I have that in a different haul, but today's video is dropping seeds. So I won't be dropping a lot of seeds today because I'm ordering seeds from Baker Creek. I am, however, dropping the seeds that I had from last season and I'm about to fill these little containers and I'm gonna show you my issue. So here's what I have. I have this container here and you can see it's wide enough, it's deep enough to put some soil in and drop plenty, let me back out, of seeds in it. Um, so as you can see, it's uh, about 72 slots here that I can drop seeds in, good width and all of that. This right here, now this I got from Dollar, I think I got this from Dollar General. But this over here, y'all, I just opened this today. I've had it for over three months now. This is something I ordered online. I thought it was gonna be like this one. However, look at how narrow the opening is. I don't know if I wanna drop anything in here because it will probably be difficult to get it out without damaging the roots. So, and look at this. Look how that is over there. So I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you think I should drop anything in here. Today, I'm not. I just wanted to show it to you and get your opinion on it. Um, what would be something I could drop in here that wouldn't damage it for, you know, taking it out of here? Because obviously it wouldn't be able to grow in here long. Um, so I'm gonna do this one right here as far as putting the soil in and dropping a few seeds in these right here. And then on a different day, I'll do some more um, seed droppings and we'll go from there. Oh, and also y'all, it's been raining a lot lately. So I had some things out and they've been catching water by accident. So this lid to a trash can, it caught water. I will be using that rain water. This pot down here caught some rain water. Uh, matter of fact, my cooler, look at that y'all. Good old rain water. And that's what I'll be putting in my, um, my drop seeds. And over here, some rain water. I don't know how much I'm gonna get done today. I may have to, um, well, I'm gonna be doing it tomorrow. So I may just put the soil in and then come back. It just depends on how much light I have. Oh, y'all, look, um, let me put this on here. This container right here, this came with the tray, so it'll catch all of that and the water when I water it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that um, in there like that. That way I'm not wasting soil. I'm gonna wet the soil down and then I'll add the seeds. learned is the reason for using this light airy soil is because it helps the um, plant grow better the roots will will be healthier so I have some water here I'm just going to use a water bottle because you don't want to drown the new seeds 
First, I'm gonna wet the soil. So I put a few holes in this cap. Just gonna wet it so I'm not drowning it when I do water it. soil to it. You can't be afraid to get your fingers dirty. Sorry for the noise. But part of me wish I was still living down in the country country. Like this is considered the country to everybody else that I know but it's not considered the country to me. I have some exciting things coming y'all to the homestead. I cannot wait. I'm just taking my time because I want to make sure I know enough before I get involved in what I'm about to do. I'm just going to add a little more soil. So I'm going to try to do less um, hauls, y'all, because me and my husband going back and forth. He doesn't want me in these stores like that. Maybe I'll do some online um, as well because our numbers are just so high here. And even though I didn't want to hear that from him, but you know, sometimes you just have to hear the truth. Whether you want to hear it or not. That's when you know you got people on your side that hear. enough to tell you the truth. You don't want a yes man. Let me tell you, I was not that. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> okay, y'all, I don't want to overdo it. So let's see what seeds we will be doing today. These are some seeds that I have saved. Some seeds I didn't use. Um, I don't know why, but I didn't use them. Are there seeds in here? Oh my goodness, y'all. I forgot I had these in here. Oh. I forgot I had these jalapenos in here drying out. I, I think these are jalapenos. This is why you, sh you should be labeling your stuff. you got to have your flowers that's going to bring in all the pollinating creatures to your yard you want your yard pollinated I think I'm just gonna do the tomatoes right now oh gosh so these are the Roma tomatoes and the jelly bean hybrid so these are the Romas and these are the jelly bean hybrid See, I got these little goodies from the dollar store, Dollar Tree. And he's my labeler. I have to get my own. And I got these shears. I got some jute. The, um, twine that is and then I got some plant clips I've never used before because I didn't have a reason because my stuff didn't do as well but we're hoping and praying for a better year so let's see the Roma tomatoes start the seeds indoor in a sunny location six weeks prior to warm weather these are my spinach seeds that I harvested myself, y'all. I didn't even have to buy spinach seeds this year. On June 27th. These say lemon seeds here. And what are these? These say pomegranate seeds, but I actually have some pomegranate seeds upstairs that I did myself from one that I bought. So I'm about to drop um, a few of these collard greens 
right here. I'm trying to do two each hole. going in every hole. These are very tiny. So that's it, y'all. So, y'all, I just just planted most of the um, tomato seeds, and then I realized that I didn't really have my camera on. And these are going to be the large red cherry tomatoes. Love them. So now I'm about to do the cucumber over in here. Here's the cucumber. Yeah, here's the cucumber. Resembles the um, cantaloupe to me. And these are just the straight eight cucumbers. And when I get my um, book in from Baker Creek, then I will order the things you can't find out of the box stores. So let's cover these on up. And then we're gonna give it some water. And like I said, these have the little holes that I put in them. So that I'm not drowning anything. Just a little light rain. And I'm not moving the seed around. Because if you use heavy watering, you'll move the seed around. And we're going to let that drain before we take it in. And I do have it inside of a container so the water will not... Um, drain out onto my floor when I do move it in. It's in like a pan. Right there. And that's it. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope that it inspires you to go and plant something. Um, even if you don't know what you're doing, it's better than doing nothing. And growing your own food when sometimes they are having food shortages when it comes to vegetables if you didn't notice that or if they're not having a food shortage the prices are so high that it's just ridiculous you could have bought you a few of these right here now i didn't get these from the dollar tree but the dollar tree does sell seeds for for a dollar so if you can get them that way get them that way and um if i'm not mistaken you can use your EBT to buy seeds and to buy fruit trees. So get out there and grow something and let's have a great spring. So y'all, I have it sitting on this table right here on the other side of my kitchen table. Um, so I'm about to use my ring light which is not the light that most people use, but we're gonna give it 16, eight, 16 hours of light, whether it's this light or outside light, and then eight without. And we're just gonna help it. We're gonna bring it down closer.
because you don't want it more than two inches above okay so here is where I'm setting up again in my kitchen against this wall right here I have some light coming in through there but not a lot so I'm using right now my ring light because I did this last night and I have my ring light up to the highest level that it will go and it's actually I think doing a good job at mimicking daylight and but I went out today after my appointment and I got this uh, clip light right here a clamp light is what you call it and it's gonna put out about the same amount of light if you ask me so I'm gonna keep my ring light over that one and then I have a setup right here this right here it's a jet flying over y'all my goodness okay so this is just a steel pipe metal whatever and as you can see a tampico from my haul and I put some soil in there because I didn't have any sand to go in there and I couldn't find the um, PVC pipe that I found I didn't have the um, instrument to cut it so I found this right here in the garage and this is gonna work for me to clip my light on here like this and while they are low I can just have the light down as far as it can go which would be here and whatever I sit over here to grow say I had this right here which that's what I'm gonna be um, opening up it's a 36 seed starter I got this it was four dollars from Dollar General but when the season was ending they had these um i think i paid a dollar for this so i would just clip my light my light would be like this and so you you want it to be no more than two inches above whatever you're growing one to two inches so if i need it to be raised higher i would just sit um the seed starter kit I would just sit the seed starter kit on something and raise it up to the level of the light just so that the um, plant, the starter is getting as much light as it can possibly get. And then I'm gonna leave the lights on for 16 hours and then eight hours they won't be on. That way, if they start to poke their little heads out, they'll be greeted with sunlight imitation. Not God's light, but Tommy's light. Also y'all, the aluminum foil that I have up underneath, I'm using it as um, heat absorption and a reflective um, piece to draw the heat into the roots of the um, seedlings that I'm hoping will pop up in the next few days to weeks. And that's what that is used for. You can also set it up inside of a tote and put the um, clamp light into the tote on the lid to create your own grow space. So that's it y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. I wanna do it all with you by my side. If you're in need, me here tonight. Just say